Hey, what's up, guys? It's Phone Tech over here with another video. And this one, guys, I'm going to be comparing an iPhone 10 running 11.2 to an iPhone 6 running 11.2 this time. So let's see if anything improved. The iPhone 6 and 11.2, as well as like the boot up, is faster. I think you know, and I'm using it sometimes, and uh, it actually got a bit faster. So I wanted to see how it performs. So stay tuned. All right, guys. So that's the 10 and that's the 6. I'm just gonna put them both up here, and. So yeah, I did notice that with every other device, iPhone 10 takes some time for uh, for the Apple logo to appear on it. So uh, that's something with iPhone 10. And um, honestly, with iPhone 10, it didn't really feel any difference with it when it comes to boot up. Maybe it got a bit faster, but with iPhone 6 and older devices, it definitely felt a difference, especially with iPhone 6 because it was super slow, and now it's getting faster. So definitely iPhone 10 faster. A11 Bionic chip, hexa core processor, 2.39 gigahertz, 3 gigs of RAM. But the iPhone 6 is not that far behind. We have dual core processor, A8 chip, and 1 gigabyte of RAM. And the processor clock 1.4 gigahertz. It was not that far behind. It really improved a lot there compared to previous iOS 11 versions. All right, guys. So I made sure everything is closed in the background. And let's just go. So first up, calendar. About the same, 10 was slightly faster. Camera. Slightly faster in the tenor game, weather, slightly faster, and the difference actually decreased, I think, stocks, yeah, about the same, okay, so iPhone 10, iPhone 6, sorry guys, is really performing well, let's go for maps, yeah, faster while loading, and maybe internet on this phone is better, probably, and yeah, iTunes Store, even though they're both connected to the same network, so just saying, and they're both in flight mode, so uh, yeah, faster on the 10. I mean, uh, of, of course everything will be faster on the 10, just seeing how much did the iPhone 6 improve in comparison to the previous iOS 11.1 or iOS 11. So settings, yeah, iPhone 6 did well there, both running their latest 11.2. Next up, reminders, iPhone 6 is really doing well. Get to see videos, about the same. iPhone 6 did really improve. Home, wow, I'm impressed. So iPhone 6 and 11, uh, iOS 11.2 is really doing well. Health, yeah, doing really well. Let's go for phone, impressive. And Safari, yeah, iPhone 6 is good. Apple, so Apple started, finally decided to improve, fix iPhone 6. And let's go for this iPhone 10 tab. Okay, yeah, of course, the uh, internet will be faster on the 10. Scroll down. Okay, yeah, I don't really feel that lag. Scrolling down through this X sign. No, it's really good. Impressive, let's scroll all the way down. Okay, yeah, scrolling has a better experience on the 10, but still, iPhone 6 is really decent. All right, guys, and now I'm just gonna compare Games, the part where the iPhone 10 should be better. First up, Fruit is La Floor is Lava, sorry. And this game has not been optimized yet. So yeah, there is a difference. Yeah, definitely. Of course, yeah, the GPU on this phone is way better, but still, iPhone 6 is still usable and you can play on it, and it's launching games faster than before. So, Running Temper Run 2 here. So yeah, definitely faster than the 10. But the 6 is not that far behind. Them. I mean, speaking about the phone that's 3 years old now. I mean, it's not bad at all. Just start here. But you feel some lag there on the iPhone 6 while, while it's uh, going all the way through down. There. You feel some lag, definitely. But then, the game is playable. Okay, yeah, there is some lag. Definitely some lag on the iPhone 6. But it's not not that bad. Uh, next up, I'm gonna launch uh, Mario Run. I felt some lag there while launching the app. And this game has been optimized for the iPhone 10 screen, 5.8 uh, inch. Yeah, okay, faster on the 10, but how much faster? 
Yeah, iPhone 6 did well. Just wait for iPhone 6 to... Okay. Next up, Rolling Sky. And I hate how the thing shrinks after it loads, like, because of the screen. Alright. Oops. Okay, uh, iPhone 6 took some time there. I mean, uh, I did really the app, went to App Store, came back, and the thing loaded then. So yeah, definitely faster. So yeah, n not that much of an improvement when it comes to third-party apps, but when it comes to the apps that come with the phone, like stock apps, the phone is really better. All right, leaving. Launching on Tutu Benchmark. Yeah, not that bad. Uh, launching Geekbench 4. Not that bad, actually. And now, guys, for uh, I'm just gonna try the RAM management to see how good is the one gigabyte of RAM now on 11.2. So, yeah. All right, guys, so we're starting the RAM management here. And yeah, okay, definitely had to refresh. Let's go for maps. I refresh on the six. Let's go for some, go for weather. All the way to the weather and boom. Both had to refresh. All right, so even with three gigs of RAM, iPhone 10 had to refresh this. For stocks, okay. I refresh on the six. Now go for some. Let's go for App Store first. All right, App Store, and it's a refresh on the six as well. Now let's go for some games. Let's go for Geekbench first. What did well? Because it was a recent app, and let's go to first game we launched. Okay, first lava. Okay, let's go. Refresh on the six. Kept it in the background of the ten. Not bad. I mean, iPhone six has only one gig of RAM, so that was weird. All right, both as well. Then I'm gonna go for uh, another game, Mario Run. Okay, it's a refresh on the six. Then again, one more. Let's go for Temper Run 2. Okay, I refresh there. So, yeah, iPhone 6 with one gigabyte of RAM can't really hold up apps in the background, but then you can just keep one or two apps in the background while you're using, basically, and then you're gonna be good. All right, guys, now I'm gonna go for a Geekbench test here. And as you can see, of course, before I did close everything, so nothing running in the background at all. Almost 3 gigs here, 1 gigabyte of RAM here, A8, uh, 1.4 gigahertz processor, hex, dual core, hexa-core, slightly 2.39, 2.4 gigahertz, a little bionic chip, latest, and let's see. So, running benchmark, as, as you know guys, I'm just going to skip through, uh, I'm just going to show you the scores. Alright guys, there we have it. So, uh, iPhone 6 single core score is about, down, okay, it's 1560. Whereas this phone scores 4,272, so about three times more there. And the multi-core score is about 2,700, whereas the iPhone 10 has 10,504. And I want to say that iPhone 6 on iOS 8 used to get 2,900, so there's just a 200 drop there, not more. Eh, so it's not that bad, actually. All right, guys, and now for the final test here. Just showing you everything closed until the benchmark. Let's go. And as always, guys, I'm just going to speed it up because it takes some time. All right, guys, so it's done. 
scores are pretty consistent. So uh, iPhone 6 score didn't improve there. It's the same. iPhone 10 score just ranges between 204,000 to 225,000, as I noticed. And as you can see, 3D iPhone 10 outperforms every other device out there. UX as well. CPU um, less than double. So uh, maybe iPhone 6 did improve there. RAM more than double, but it makes sense actually because. You know, this has one gigabyte, or this has three, so we yeah, have clearly makes sense. All right, guys, there you have it. That was a comparison between the iPhone 10 and the iPhone 6. I want to say, guys, the battery life was really better on the iPhone 6 than on previous versions. So uh, I lost 21% of battery while doing this test, which is really impressive. Uh, you know, because it went to benchmark and a lot of stuff, so it only lost 21%. The iPhone 10 lost about 15%, 14%, guys. So uh, usually iPhone 10 would lose like 14 to 15%, where this will lose like 35% or something. So there is some improvement in the battery life when it comes to older devices. Good to see. Good move, good move from Apple. So basically, level point two has a better battery life, at least with the iPhone 6. So if you guys like the video, subscribe for more content. Peace out.